Hey what's up guys, it's the Tech Wally and this is my full review of the PowerSeed Executive Pro or PS4800. <laughs> Starting with the design and the build quality, the design is very good, it comes in the following colors, black, blue, red, green, silver, purple and gold which I have here but it's more an orangey color. The build quality is very good with its aluminium body with some plastic parts. It's very sturdy and feels good in the hand and it can definitely resist some drops. The button however surprisingly has a very bad build quality. It is partly broken on my unit so when I press it it gets stuck and it's just annoying. I think it's very weird because of the great overall build quality. It has a micro USB input and a USB output with an LED flashlight on the side and nothing on the other ones. On the top you find the button to control everything. To start charging just press it once. If you press and hold it, the flashlight turns on. On the button you have four blue LED lights indicating how much charge is left on the power bank which is very nice. Each light indicates 25% while charging the power bank itself or a device it blinks. And I think it's very nice that it's separated into four because some power banks only have two and that's very general. Having a nice design and build quality is nice and adds to the overall quality. Nevertheless, the most important feature of a power bank is to charge your device best as fast as possible. This one is doing what it's supposed to do, but it's not very good at it. As the name indicates, it has a capacity of 4800 mAh. The included cable is nice. It's a short coiled cable with interchangeable tips with a micro USB, mini USB and a 30 pin tip included. A lightning port 1 is separately available. Sadly, charging times with the cable are horribly slow, but maybe that's just my unit. It charged my OnePlus One about 16% in 1 hour and my Nexus 7 around 14%. Luckily, charging times with any other USB cable are good. With a standard USB cable, I got around 40% of charge on my OnePlus One in 1 hour and around 30% on my Nexus 7. Now keep in mind, these tests weren't done scientifically or anything, I just, when I came home after school I charged my device for one hour with one cable and then one hour with the other. This power bank can charge any device that charges via USB, which is great but it is standard for power banks. Charging times of the power bank itself were disappointing with any cable. It charged from 0 to 100% in about 8 hours. It is fine because overnight you should get a full charge but it is quite slow. During a long period of charging, it did get a little warm and I also had a small problem with my old phone, the S3. It wouldn't start charging, but I guess it's my phone's fault. I mentioned a lot of downside and I could overlook almost all if the price was low enough, but in that aspect, it disappoints again. It retails for $50 on Amazon. In Germany, it is available for 30 euros, which is still too much in my opinion. I don't recommend buying this power bank, there are a lot of power banks out there which are better and cheaper, only if you really love something about the Executive Pro, for example the build quality, then get it. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you will not spend so much money for a quite bad power bank. If you watched the video all the way until here, make sure to comment spare my wallet down below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next one, bye.